Welcome back to Tom's Kitchen and today we're down here at Royal Fremantle Golf Club and we're doing a cook up. It's a fundraiser so uh, I think everybody's enjoying the pizzas here. Um, and Grocery do this every year. Um, we've been extremely fortunate in the past. Hmm? We've been very fortunate in the past and have raised roughly $30,000 each golf day. And we're providing the very hungry golfers with some food now as they're coming in off the course. <laughs> So you, you told me you were the best pizza maker here? No, I know. I did not actually say that. No. <laughs> you, you didn't yeah. say that? Well, I thought you said that. No, no, no. <laughs> but you're very generous with your, with yeah, your toppings we, here. Yeah, we've been too generous with the toppings and you've taken them all off and spoiled my patterns. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll forgive you. But you're sold for a good cause anyway, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, Fremantle Hospital. Fremantle Wonderful. and the uh, medical research. Medical, yep. medical research. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's great. Oh, we'll keep on cooking the pizzas then, eh? We're doing a good job. So Daniel, you look very official here with all your ties and your little bow things and whatnot. What, what is your job here? Absolutely. Uh, I uh, have a self-appointed position of maitre d' and uh, drunk, so I'm doing that with uh, quite, quite esteemed, I'd say. What about yourself, Tom? Well, I'm supposed to be a pizza maker, but uh, I don't think I am, you know. I'm only no. Just imitation. Just imitation. Of course, pretending. Of course. Pretending. It's all about looks, isn't it? It's all about keeping up facade. appearance. Facade. <laughs> it is a facade. No, you're doing a great job, Tom. Those pizzas are bloody delicious. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. No worries, Daniel. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. No, absolutely. Have you eaten pizza? I do. Let me introduce you to our new rocket oven that fires up in seconds, cooks in minutes, all with a handful of water. This is our baby Woody that was born last week. <laughs> Here we're down at Royal Golf Course and we're cooking the baby jet oven. So we're cooking steaks here. This is a fun phase of fun phase. Old run, new run thing. Mm. 
So does it get hot enough? <laughs> it gets so hot it will cook that in two minutes. Two minutes of the cook. So what do you stoke it up with? Oh, a little bit of water. It's, it's a rocket. It's what they call a rocket oven. It works in high oxygen. It cooks steak like Pretty good, pretty good. It's a bit overcooked, but as you know, that that's what he likes to do, <laughs> and that's good. Good. A little taste of steak. Very nice. Some more things This is better than what's in there. <laughs> okay, did you get that verbally? Quite verbally? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Right, all the rest? <laughs> That was one very, very busy day, and I think the baby Woody was the, the champion of the whole lot, and uh, the steaks just disappeared overnight, just within five minutes they were gone. <laughs> but this gentleman Raymond, he's seen baby rocket oven, and he just wants to buy one straight away. He just can't. He, he just can't wait. He just can't wait to get one home. Is that right, Brent? No, but I wouldn't be interested in my one. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter. So it has been a very successful day throughout all.